so fake it's just ridiculous so here is this massive great big bomb to show you how really horrible the russians are yeah the problem is <laughs> it's there now where actually did this bomb fall because that's where it's supposed to have fell yeah so why did the foreign minister dmitry kibulo uh send a twitter of it here i mean it either fell here or it fell here, right? It's actually worse than that because uh, if you actually have a look at it closely, you'll see that uh, it's not even. Uh... This is how crazy it is. So here you see the front of this. The, this is the bomb. Just you may think, surely they're talking. Are they any other? This this is some terrible mistake. Maybe they're talking about two different bombs. You see the front of this one here. See how distinctive that is. This. It's a different bomb. It's going to make a big dent. Yeah, this has just been blatantly it's been put here, and it's got a pointy thing on the front. Yeah, it's a completely different bomb. It's a completely different bomb than this bomb. It's even a different shape. Yeah, see so what they're doing here. This is just mind games. It, yeah. So Kibula mentions that the lucky bomb didn't detonate but claims other bombs have and is calling on the West to do more to help Ukrainians in their struggle. He wrote this horrific 500 kilogram bomb fell on a residential building in Chernobyl and didn't explode. Many others did though, killing innocent men and women and children. Help us protect us from the Russian barbarians. Okay, this is bomb, not plural, not bombs. We've always established we've already established it's a completely different bomb. Uh yeah, it's just so blatantly fake. It's all fake and staged this is fake and staged completely fake and staged a bomb does not fall out of the sky and make absolutely no dent at all <laughs> yeah and it's a completely different bomb uh, okay so it's ridiculous and um, mariupol some of the footage we're seeing at the top floors being blown up are lies because the russian tanks have only got a 14 percent elevation 14% elevation, so if they're in the street outside, they can't elevate their, they can't shoot at the top floors. That's one of the problems they had in che Chechnya. Um, okay, so uh, I've just seen footage of them actually blowing up an apartment building in Mariupol. Now, a lot of, a lot of people buy into this. I just think it's complete bullshit. Um, I, I mean, I really do. I'll tell you why. Okay, so just quickly, just quickly. Okay, the Russian tanks are all lined up here, and yeah, none of them go, they can go 40 miles an hour, they can escape, they don't have to sit there for 15 minutes and just suffer artillery fire and not move, like they're all in shell shock, or they're all scratching their heads going, what's going on here? Someone's firing at us. You, you, you know, these tanks do go, I'll just repeat, they go off-road, and they go about 40 miles an hour, so you can suddenly zoom off here. Or zoom off here. You don't have to. There's not a traffic jam. It's not the M6. You can actually drive at 40 miles an hour off in that direction. But no, they all just sit there and wait for the artillery to come in and blow them all up. It's all here on the Daily Mail. You all, yeah, with the fancy music over the top. And then when they get down there to the ground and they... I'm, I've got their lids, you know, people were in, were allegedly in these, where's the bodies, where's the bodies, where's the bodies, where's the bodies, there's no bodies, no one was here, no one was here, no one. Uh, so a race supremacist with extremist views tries to massacre a bunch of people on a New York subway. Yet again, he sticks his face right in front of the camera, talks through his nose, and just lies okay no one tried no racial premises tried to massacre people on a subway because it's just a completely fake staged event 